Suvankam Tamavangsa from Toronto. Good morning, number one. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am looking forward to these next few minutes. I want to begin with last night because, Suvan Khan, we've been playing the video of the moment that you heard your name announced in that virtual ceremony and then the knock came to your door. So let's play it back so that you can see it because you won't have seen it in this way. Tell me a little bit about hearing your name as the, as the winner of the Giller and then the knock at the door with the trophy coming to you. The winner of the 2020 Scotiabank Giller Prize is... Suvankam Tamavangsa, how to pronounce night. Oh my God. <laughs> there's the reaction, there's the moment. Now tell me what, you, what you're thinking and going through there, Suvankam. I'm just thinking about the rehearse. We did rehearsals before that, and when the envelope came, they had said um, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and so. When I saw it happen in real life, I was thinking of that. But also, you know, I was just thinking about whether I imagined my name being called out loud. And I looked over at my friend and, and their reactions. And then I thought, oh, it must be me. It was you. And then when you thought about that, was there anyone or anything that you thought about? First, in those first moments? I really thought about, you know, um, school, um, the first day of school, um, walking up to the entrance and watching the kindergarten children crying. And I didn't understand why everyone was crying. I just walked in there because I knew you know, that was my chance to go to school. And I remember the adults not crying, but I remember my mom was crying. Um, and I just thought, oh, this must be what it's like to, you know, be grown up now. Because as we've learned about your life story through the Gillers, um, your parents fled Laos and you were born in a refugee camp in Thailand and came to Canada when you were two years old. And yes. then, one of the, the, the title of the book, How to Pronounce Knife, is also based on a childhood experience of yours. You have to tell that story. Where, where did the title come from? It came from a real life experience. I didn't know what this word was. And I went to my father and I asked him, how do you pronounce this? And he said, knife, with absolute confidence and certainty. And I went to school and I pronounced it just the way that he told me to. I wasn't ashamed or sad or humiliated. I just learned that I was alone with the language. Um, so that, that too came to mind. And how did that affect you when you learned that it wasn't knife? I, well, I wanted to believe that it was knife because, mm -hmm. you know, your parents are the people who are supposed to know everything. And I wanted to hold on to that a little bit longer. Um, so I fought the teacher about how to pronounce it, and I was sent to the office, and everybody kept saying, well, it's just a letter. These are the rules. That's just the way it is. But to me, it was really about um, my, my family and our home life and that we didn't know how to pronounce that word. Obviously something that you remembered in such striking detail to form what is the basis or the title of what is your debut work of fiction. Now, we should tell people, I had the beautiful pleasure of meeting you six years ago because Suven Kam won six years ago the Trillium Book Award for Poetry for a collection called Light, and I happened to be the host of that ceremony, and we had a wonderful moment of your celebration then. So here you are taking the immigrant experience and your own experience and, and turning it into not poetry, but prose and fiction for the first time to tremendous success. But why did you decide to make that shift, Suvan Khan? Well, really, I, I, I loved writing poetry, um, but I just wanted writing to feel new to me. There, nobody was waiting for this book. There were no expectations. 
and I just wanted to have fun again with writing. And that's what I felt when I was writing these stories. I knew that when I was writing these stories, that often when we hear about stories about immigrants and refugees, they're often very sad and tragic, and rightly so. But we're also incredibly hilarious and fun and ferocious. And I wanted those moments to be at the center of a story. And the whole collection um, touches on all those kinds of moments. And certainly the jury has highlighted exactly that, the humor that just rings through. When you say you, nobody's really got any expectations for your debut work of fiction, they will now, of course, now that they know <laughs> how good you are at this genre as well. You know what happens with the Giller Prize, Suvan Khan. We talk about the Giller effect, the big jump in sales of your book. When people discover this, as they will now inevitably, what do you hope they discover? that poetry is not a scary thing. Um, many writers um, come from that, and this is a short story collection, but it was built out of many years of writing poetry. Um, everybody loves the novel. Um, not very many people turn to poetry or short fiction, and those are very, you know, they. A lot of people um, do, aren't drawn to those forms, um, but I've worked in both, and I absolutely love the quiet that is around both forms. And you are taking this into a different capacity, as I understand it, going from the writer to being the judge of other writing, because I think you're part of the jury for the CBC Short Story Prize. Um, I'm wondering, You've obviously embraced this form uh, eagerly with tremendous success. What is your advice for the young writers you're going to be judging in terms of their creation of short stories? To surprise yourself, don't wait for me or any other writer to give you advice. Figure out what makes a story yours and beautiful and true and go by that. Winning the Giller Prize. The Trillium was pretty great. I remember it for you. But this is something at a whole different level. This is a life-changing moment and it brings with it life-changing money. What does winning it mean and what will it change? Well, um, on a practical level, you know, when I was 14, my parents, we lived in a van. And I remember when we were parked outside of a home, I remember the light from the window. And I felt like there was so little difference between us. And I feel like with this money, I could maybe come a little closer to owning or having that light that belongs to me all to myself. Yeah. You enjoy every moment of that. You know, they are immigrant stories, but, but they're Canadian stories for which you've been awarded yes. this Canadian prize. I mean, how yeah. does that sit with you? Well, um, you know, I've been asked what makes my stories Canadian and the thing that pops out first is these stories are Canadian because I'm Canadian. You know, whatever I do, it's Canadian. Whether it's poetry, short stories, that's Canadian. And Canada has embraced all of the stories you're telling. We look forward to the next work, whatever it is, poetry or fiction. Thank you for the time again. And I get to congratulate you again. And what a pleasure Thank that you. is. Suvankam Tamavangsa, the winner of the Giller Prize this year.